You're on the road. You've just had a terrible meeting with either your boss or one of your prospective customers, or both, and you just want to relax in the hotel and listen to some music. Let all your worries float away in the abyss of happiness. But you can't because you don't have the right equipment. Not anymore. Sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Fozzy Audio K5 DAC amp for your ears. K5, what is it? What is it? It is a little tiny. It's the size of about a deck and a half card. Sorry, I had some coffee sitting on it. I've been listening to this for the last few nights in my headphone nook. It's in my living room and it's tiny. It's perfect for throwing it in your backpack or your back pocket, which I'm doing right now. Fits perfectly in my back pocket. This is smaller than the wallet that I used to use. This is the K5. So on the front you have volume control, treble tone control, bass tone control, microphone input, and headphone output. So you can use this thing as a gaming DAC amp. And it's only $72 right now. It's $80 with a 10% off coupon, which makes it $72, I think. What's on the back? On the back, pretty straightforward. Right here, you have a five volt power supply, USB-C in, and this is power and data. So, not the beloved Star Trek character data, data from your computer. So what you do is you plug this into your computer and it's going to power it, and you're gonna get the info, the happy music, right from your computer. Right next to that, if you're a little bit more traditional, like I am, there's an optical spitafin, then a coaxial in, and then you have an analog out. So technically speaking, you can use this as a preamp slash standalone DAC. And then there's a screw right there. So how does it sound? I tried a variety of headphones on here, including, but not limited to, Dan Clark Aeon Closed RT, which is a 13 ohm headphone. Very hard to drive. I tried the Hyphaman Edition XS. I tried the Sennheiser 58X. I tried the 7 Hertz Legato. Legato. Try the 6XX from Sennheiser and Drop and the Sivga. 021s, I think they are. The sound from this is very reference-like. There is not a lot of flavor that this thing is putting on anything, unless that flavor is mid-range. You're not stupid. Jazz is stupid. <laughs> Jazz is stupid! I mean, just play the right notes! I know. Forward. So this is a mid-forward DAC amp, which is good if you're playing games because vocals, or watching movies, vocals come through crystal clear. And with tone controls, you can kind of dial things up and down. I am more of a rock and roll, metal, grunge type of a guy, so I like a little bit of boost on the bottom and a little bit of boost on the top. And I was able to get that by turning both of them up. However, this is a little bit picky about which headphones it likes. It is reported to put out one watt into a 16 ohm load, but it did not like the Dan Clarks. It came through kind of echoey in the vocal region, and there wasn't a whole ton of dynamics with the Dan Clark A on Closeback RT. Conversely though, the 58X from Drop and Sennheiser sounded awesome, sounded exactly like I want the 58Xs to sound. These little new things that I got in, the seven hertz Legatos, they also sounded excelente, probably my favorite pairing. And there was zero noise, discernible noise that I heard when I was running IEMs through it. I paused it and I turned the volume all the way up and I could not hear one bit of hiss or anything like that. So this does have a very low noise floor. And I think probably is gonna be best suited for pretty efficient headphones or for IEMs. 
With that said though, the Hyperman Edition XS actually sounded great. It was one of my favorite pairings on this and I didn't feel like it was lacking in power. But this is not a, it drives everything perfectly and it sounds great. I was also trying out the Harmonic Dyne Athena last night. Again, push that one really mid forward. Now, I don't really have an understanding of what that thing sounds like because I haven't listened to that headphone on my regular equipment like the Schkit stack or my Jashelli Labs J2 and Arkle 2.5. So I don't really have a very, I haven't spent a lot of time with that headphone, okay? But again, the ones that sound the best to me, 5.8X, Drop, Sennheiser, Legato, Hyphenman Edition XS. Who's this for? This little device is for people that want to game and are on a budget. Or in my use case scenario, it'd be for me traveling when I was on the road in a hotel room because I like dongle Dax. Nothing wrong with dongle Dax. However, they can be a bit of a pain because for my iPhone, I always have to get a bunch of adapters to make this thing work on my iPhone. I almost always have a laptop though, and most of the time my laptop has a USB-C input, output, whatever you wanna call it. I would pop this in my backpack and then use this at night to watch movies, listen to music, or even play games, even though I don't really play games, like PC games. If you're just getting into it though, you can get this and then you can get a pair of Le Legatos for 100 bucks and for 170 bucks have a very nice combo. You can also get the 5.8X, 170 bucks. The Sivga 021s, also a great pairing. Those are fairly inexpensive. There are a lot of what I would say inexpensive headphones that you can run off of this thing. I do think this plays the best with warmer headphones or with a headphone that has a pretty pronounced V curve, and then you can dial the treble a little bit back if it is too much for you. The Koss KH40 or something like that would probably be a good combo too, although my daughter has stolen those. Probably never get them back. This would probably also be good for people that go to like gaming meetups. My son used to take his whole rig and then go places, so this would be good for that. What are my final thoughts? At $72, I think this is a great product for specific use case scenarios. Not all headphones are gonna sound great on this, and this is not gonna drive all headphones. But if you keep your expectations in line with what this is, this is a very clean, very open sounding, and I was surprised at just how big of a sound stage I was getting with the Legatos, because normally with IEMs, I don't get a huge soundstage. So I think those are gonna be really good. Again, I haven't spent a ton of time, but they loved this thing. I would say this is very much a reference sound. Neutral, clean, low noise, not a ton of personality though. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. That might be exactly what you are looking for. But to get the sound that I preferred, I had to make sure that I combined just the right products, which is kind of the case for everything if you want great synergy. But certain headphones were really dynamic on here and others were not. And I was really surprised that the Hyphaman Edition XS worked so well in here when the Dan Clarks didn't work at all. I know the Dan Clarks are very inefficient. Oh, the other cool thing about this it's got a really long volume throw. So when you hook up a pair of IEMs, you're not gonna blast yourself out when you go eh, like that. The first half of the volume span is really kind of a slow burn, which is great because there is not a low gain and a high gain mode on here. I really like this. I think if you're just getting out with gaming and you wanna up your game with your DAC, this is a perfect way to do it. Or if you're traveling, this is a perfect thing to throw in your backpack. So, if you want to support the internet, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheapbodyman. Every Sunday night, we have patron-only Zooms, patron-only Discord, patron-only Facebook group. You can also use the links in the description. Those are affiliate links, which means if you click and you buy, I do get a commission, but it doesn't cost you any more, so it's a great way to support the channel. You can also sign up for Amazon or Rune. Links in the description. Click sign up. You usually get a 30-day trial. Even if you quit, I do get a couple of dollars. Finally, you can give me a tip. Buy me a cup of coffee. Down at the bottom of the video, next to the share button, there's a thanks button. But don't feel compelled to pay me anything or give me any money. 
One of the great ways to support the channel is just liking this video and subscribing. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen on the road again, maybe through your new Fozzie Audio K5 and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm a cheap audio man.